Insperity presents the Small Business Advocate Show with Jim Blassingame, brought to you by FedEx, CareerBuilder.com, and Palo Alto Software. This is a copyrighted production of Small Business Network, Inc., all rights reserved. He's the man Talkers Magazine says is one of the most important talk show hosts in America. We tell you over and over again that you're wonderful and you just don't get it. What's wrong with you? He's Jim Blassingame, our small business advocate. Welcome back. It's a wonderful your service. Thank you for being part of my day. Uh, I'm glad people recognize these things about me. It's it's uh, uh, completely appropriate. I'm glad you're hanging out with me. We got uh, our good friend Paul Howard back on the show. Power, How, Paul is senior fellow and the director of Manhattan Institute Center for Medical Progress, and he's got a couple of important things to to talk to us about today. Paul, welcome back. Thanks for having me, Jim. It's good to have you back. You know, Paul, um, one of the uh, one of the things that's become uh, blatant in the last few years has been the 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 self dealing the, the the nothing less than corruption the uh, the 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 lack of leadership but but the that the proliferation of self dealing in in Washington D.C. and it and it's gotten to the point where you know you, you don't even you don't even mince words about it anymore. Uh, we just recently found out about. About the fact I didn't know about it. Maybe maybe you knew about it a long time ago, but I didn't know that that Congress actually had passed, had actually made it legal for members of Congress to to trade on insider information. And this that this that whether it's wrong or not, whether it's unethical or not, whether it's a fiduciary breach or not, is apparently not 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 illegal. And that right. kind of a behavior among members of Congress, among members of our government, regardless of the party. Is is preposterous, but it's, it is what it is. It's what we have, and I, I just don't think I've ever seen it. I've, I've always, I guess, I've always known that there was some of this going on in Washington. Maybe we all did, but I don't think it's ever been in our face as much as it is right now. What do you think, Paul? Well, you know, you know, people go to Washington uh, ele- as elected representatives. They go as you know, middle class people. They leave as millionaires. And uh, whether or not there's anything, strictly speaking, illegal about this, I think there's, there's a real um, problem with the, the fact that, that people who hold the reins of power, naturally they've got tremendous regulatory power, tremendous legislative power, and people go to them uh, you know, hat in hand uh, to ask for favors and to give favors. And that's a problem when you're trying to run a yeah. free economy, a fair economy, and, uh, and, and let the truly innovative, successful people succeed because of the strength of their ideas, not their connections. Well, and and I'll tell you, I, I keep thinking, I keep thinking of of two quotes when I think about uh, watchwords for Washington. I still th- I keep thinking about two quotes that I that I love to, to to remind people about, and one of them is my is how my friend Lynn Morella defines ethics. He's our ethical expert in the Brain Trust. He says he says ethics is devotion to the unenforceable. And and the other one is is from Nobel laureate uh, Albert Camus, who said, and this is a tiny paraphrasing, I think, he said, uh, integrity has no need of rules. Now we could use a little more of those kinds of things in Washington these days, couldn't we, Paul? Well, we certainly could, from people understanding that whether or not it's illegal. That they have, they have a duty to carry themselves above and beyond the call of just the just the law. If you if you can legally trade on insider information because you know of a bill that's passing or not passing, or you even have the ability to pass or not pass a bill in a, in, a, in such a way that would help you financially, irrespective of what what it would do to the marketplace, to all Americans, or to a certain number of Americans, that may be legal, but it sure isn't ethical, is it? <laughs> it sure, it I mean, sure doesn't. Had, it had, sure doesn't demonstrate integrity. Now, I didn't follow this story closely, so I apologize. But I did hear that uh, you know former Speaker Nancy Pelosi was uh, 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 making money on swings, and I believe it was pharmaceutical stocks, while the uh, health care reform bill was uh, being passed. So you've got That's... lawmakers who, whose legislation is obviously going to influence the state of uh, a company's stock. Uh, and That's they what know, I heard. 
and well, and just the, just so that it doesn't sound like we're bashing Democrats, uh, I don't know what the ratio was of Democrats to Republicans who, who uh, who who were trading on insider information illegally and saying that they were, but there were there were members of both parties doing it. But I did I did hear the the Pelosi story, but these are things that are that are just folks. We have to fix this. We have to stop this. And and there's some things going on right now, Paul. I want you to in the next segment. I wanted to. I just wanted to take a segment to establish some some standards, some acceptable standards that are currently being breached at, at a at a at a wholesale level. It seems in Washington, especially the collusion between Washington and Wall Street. I and I I call them out on this, uh, Paul. I I call it collusion. Nothing but abject collusion between Washington and Wall Street. And, uh, and, and so you've got a couple of stories to tell us when we come back, folks, that uh, Paul has that, uh, that will sort of amplify some of this. We've got we to gotta fix this, folks. We have to take this back. We have to take America back from this kind of behavior. 20 Tail, stay with us. Insperity presents the Small Business Advocate Show with Jim Blassingame, brought to you by FedEx, CareerBuilder.com, and Palo Alto Software. This is a copyrighted production of Small Business Network, Inc., intended for the private use of our audience. Except as otherwise provided by copyright law, all other copying, redistribution, or publication without prior written consent is prohibited. All rights reserved.